welcome or welcome back to my channel being louisa so today's video is going to be my thoughts about going back onto placement as a second year oh my gosh i'm a second year like guys i'm in year two of my three year midwifery course year two ah! guys i cannot believe it i'm excited but nervous I have my whole year planner so I kind of know what areas I'm going to be in for the whole year. I've kind of been anxious for this placement block which is a four week placement block simply because of where I'm going to be. So before I get into that I just want to quickly state as per usual I'm not going to be naming any names, any places, locations, exact dates I do not think. You yeah, know no exact dates. I probably will be jumbling up when things happen just so that if when I do tell you guys stories, it's not identifiable, no identifiable things will be mentioned basically. I will, so basically the usual, well, I have, everything I did last year, I'm gonna be doing it again this year. So I won't be telling you the names of where I'm placed. So, so you guys won't know what hospital I'm placed at. You guys won't know any names of my mentors I'm working with or any other midwives or healthcare assistants or maternity support workers, no names like that. Of course, no names of the women or their partners or the babies. I might not even say he or she. I tried really hard not to do that last year just because I don't know, I felt like even saying the baby's gender kind of made it felt revealing. So I'm gonna try again this year not to do it. Sometimes I might slip up. That's why a lot of my videos are really choppy because I was like me slipping up, but I'm gonna try real hard not to say any of those things because I don't want to, you know, ruin anyone's privacy. I'm doing this for you guys because I want you guys to know what it's like, but also I've got to respect people's privacy. So yeah, and also I'm respecting kind of my privacy <laughs> in a sense, but yeah. Anyway, so back to my thoughts and feelings. So my first block back, I'm actually doing postnatal ward. I'm thankful it's only for three weeks. I'm doing three weeks in postnatal ward and then a week on labour and delivery, which makes me excited because I'm only on three catches that count. I think I've, I've actually delivered eight babies, but only three of them count because five placentas. Well, anyway, but yeah, so I'm on three weeks of postnatal ward, which I'm just not super excited about. So my last three week placement, which was like my first three week placement in first year on postnatal ward, it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't amazing. So the first two weeks I was with one mentor. We did elective sections for like two days or something like that, or three days, I can't remember. And then we had three shifts on postnatal ward, kind of split up in between. So it wasn't the best experience, I guess, in the sense that she couldn't teach me everything she knew. I couldn't show her what I knew in that sense. It just wasn't enough time. It was amazing. She did teach me some really cool stuff, which is awesome and some things that I actually now need to know since we're doing like emergencies and stuff when we had a lesson about sepsis shock and all that stuff i was like oh i already know this i know this because like she taught me this so it is it was cool like that but then for my last week i ended up being with someone else and i wasn't even with that person i ended up being with like a different midwife every single shift which is not good for me at all so it was very yeah <laughs> i don't know how else to explain it, it just wasn't the best experience especially because i've had such continuity of mentors that it was just very weird not having that continuity there so i'm not excited about that except i did learn a lot of breastfeeding i did build up my confidence in breastfeeding and even bottle feeding cup feeding all that stuff hand expressing I, I built up my confidence so much so it wasn't like it was a terrible experience it just wasn't i didn't feel comfortable like i had student midwives people in my cohort people in the 18 month course so like oh this is easier than postnatal community and then i had newly qualified midwives because a lot of the midwives there are newly qualified on postnatal awards they were like yeah like postnatal awards easier than community postnatal and i'm like not for me <laughs> i'm a very different kettle of fish anyway in life in general and yeah no it just wasn't for me community postnatal for me is way easier than hospital postnatal but I, that could just have something to do with the fact that i don't like hospitals i don't know if i've mentioned this before but it's one of those things about me i just don't like hospitals like we're not i've gotten more comfortable being in a hospital especially because my uni is in a hospital so i've got more comfortable with that but I'm just not that comfortable with hospitals. I just not, mm, I don't know. And also sometimes on postnatal ward, you're like, well, what do I do? Like, what do I do now? And because there's so many people there, you're like, I can't just sit here and do nothing because I feel really lazy and I look lazy. So then I get up and I go walk around, but then there's nothing to do. You can only walk around a ward so many times before you just get bored and you're like, 
okay i've done way too many steps like i got to roll it back in i still got like 10 hours left on my shift and so it was just a difficult one i have got some tips and trips that i'm going to try this year but yeah i'm just a bit nervous and a bit anxious like well what do i do and also oh my gosh you guys so i've mentioned multiple times that night shifts are just not my thing we don't work well together i am not that type of person i'm in bed around nine o'clock and just chilling and like you know i'm usually asleep before midnight so doing a night shift is just not my forte and also i can't really sleep that well during the day unless i'm ill oh my gosh i don't know what's gonna happen with me but i do have night shifts next week and what makes it worse guys is that it's three night shifts in a row they are in a row and i am not looking forward to that you might only get one video next week which will be this video just because i don't know how it's gonna go i don't know how dead i'm gonna feel oh my gosh i'm just not looking forward to it i'm really not and that's next week and then the week after i have three shifts but then also i have the rcm conference so again i'm not looking forward to that it's going to be a long week but anyway back to next week we'll see how it goes hopefully it'll be better hopefully it'll be like you guys was so much better than i thought it'd be i was just being overly dramatic i pray i say that but yeah so i've got three weeks on postnatal ward and then i have a week on labor and delivery and i'm super excited about that week on labor and delivery which is funny because i was kind of not dreading but i wasn't looking forward to labor and delivery before i went there last year and then when i was there it's like oh my gosh this is way better than i thought it would be obviously i saw things that they weren't my cup of tea but then i was like oh this is just really awesome so yeah it's strange how these two things are so different and then also so different than what i thought i would feel about these two places yeah it's really weird but that's how i'm feeling and i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it's like a good reference for you guys i don't know i just want to put it out there really truly like how my little diary that i did i remember my first one was like D diary <laughs> so dramatic <laughs> but anyway so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you probably this week but otherwise i'll see you guys next week and in the meantime keep on being you if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below with any questions or suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates Bye, y'all.